Christine here with another cute, quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. I needed a wedding congratulations card to be mailed. Uh, however, I'm in the middle of a snowstorm, so I don't think it's going to get mailed until Monday. Um, but here you have it, quick and simple. So let's get started. I started with a standard A2 card, black card stock. Um, cut uh, eight and a half and eleven, cut in half, folded in half. Then I used a light pink uh, cardstock. It's got a texture to it. It's cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I cut out a quarter inch shorter on this edge and this edge all the way around using it's kind of a, a rose a darker color and I'm going to put it right in the center of that and then I used white cardstock again it's a quarter inch shorter this way and this way again I added some black ribbon and I also used my cuddle bug uh, this is an embossing folder I got from Stampin' Up uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's a fairly recent one, I think in the last six months, in their uh, last catalog. So I ran that through, and I'm just going to put it straight down. Put this back in place. <clears throat> and that also goes right in the center. And then I went to the well-scripted Stampin' Up! stamp set and used Congratulations. I just cut it out in white cardstock, then I used the rose by a quarter of an inch bigger, then a quarter of an inch that light pink, and then a quarter of an inch black. And I glued it all together, then added some double adhesive foam tape to the back, and I'm just going to put it right in the center at the top of the white and then to get the image of the bouquet what I did is I used my Cricut cartridge weddings uh, very old uh, Cricut cartridge back in 2007 it does not have a booklet which is a little frustrating for me because I, I need to see what I'm doing but anyways, at the very uh, top of the page, there's a bouquet, and it's really cute. And I cut this image out, the first the base for the green, at, which is the full image, at 3 inches. And then the pink, uh, again, 3 inches with the little ties. And then I cut it again with the darker pink. And all I did pretty much to get this image is I just took some of the little cutouts. There's lines throughout all the bouquets and I just roughly used some of those lines to get some, I don't, didn't care what kind of circle image and I just randomly put them all throughout go uh, the bouquet to give it some color and that's just going to go there and then all I did was take some pearls I had and added it on top I also doodled a little bit <laughs> common theme in my cards these days just a tiny bit all the way around to give it some depth and I again used foam adhesive, another popular thing I like to use. And I just put it right at the bottom on an angle. And the last thing I did was take a little bit more black ribbon and just put a tiny little tie or knot right at the end and I did add the cuts at an angle 
like so. And again on the other side. And all I did, and I will later on, is add a liner because it is a dark card stock. And I will just add some white and add it in the inside so that I can write whatever I would like to on the inside and then mail it. So there you have it. Short, simple, cute. Thanks for watching.